What's up and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking about 90 Day Fiance. This is part one of the Reunion Tell All, season eight, episode 18. And in this video, we're gonna be talking all about Jovi and Yara. Now, before we get started into talking about these two, give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with a friend who also loves watching 90 Day Fiance. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified on the next time that I make an upload. And, oh my gosh, to get into talking about them, I really have to woosaw. Because I don't know if it was just me. But Jovi and Yara really got on my nerves and this tell-all, they really did. You know, it was the need to tell everybody what they should be doing, question everybody else, trying to give everybody else advice. That really was like getting under my skin because I think at all of these couples that Jovi and Yara should be the last ones talking, especially Jovi. But somehow, Jovi seemed to have a lot to say. He had a lot to say to really Brandon and Julia. I think sometimes when people think that an individual is weak, in order for them to deflect off of what a crappy person they are, they start to project that onto other people and start to pick and that's exactly what I thought was going on here okay Jovi was definitely exposed with a lot of the bull crap he thought he was going to be able to take to his grave okay so I feel like a lot of the stuff he thought he was going to actually get away with and that Yar would never know but it was exposed in this part one tell-all which he was embarrassed and he'd give anything to take the focus off of what a clown he is, picking with Julia and Brandon more Julia. That is my opinion. If you feel the same, comment down below. If you didn't pick up on that, give me your thoughts on how you feel that Jovi was kind of moving in this tell-all. Because he, he was getting on my nerves. And Yara, sometimes just hearing her talk gets on my nerves too, because I get it. I talk fast sometimes too. That's why you see I'm trying to slow it down. But I feel like Yara, I don't know. It's like a when you hear it fly, like come too close and then you hit your ears. Like every time. <laughs> she just really kind of was getting on my nerves. And yeah. Jovi and Jovi and I don't know. It just irritate it. She was really irritating me this tell. I don't know. I don't know. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So so Jovi and Yara, they have their segment, right? And they discuss how hard things were for Yara giving birth during the pandemic, not having her family around, and really not having Jovi around because Jovi claimed that he was stuck and no international flights were going out for four months. When I actually think that this dude was taking advantage of the fact that at some point, I'm not going to say throughout those whole four months, but at some point flights weren't going out. So he decided, okay, when I go back home, I know I'm going to have to hear her mouth. So what I'm going to do is have me an extended stay, vacation, do whatever I want to do. I honestly don't really know if I believe that he was stuck for four months not being able to get back home to his pregnant wife. I don't know if I believe that. Comment down below your thoughts. But anyway, now it's time for Yara to see what Jovi has been up to and what he was up to the night of his bachelor party. They show the footage of Jovi going upstairs with the stripper and this is the first time that Yara has seen this footage, which makes me wonder, did he tell her not to watch this episode or find a way for her not to watch the episode by maybe them going out to eat while it was airing? Because how, how are you a part of this season and you don't go back and watch what, how they kind of like edited the season or how you showed up? Like normally a lot of them will, promote you know a new episode tonight 
uh, Catch Me and Jovi, da 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 da. So, how did you not see that episode? Did you wa not watch any anything that's. I really. I don't know. I kind of doubt that. Like, did you not watch yourself on this season at all? So, I don't know what that was all about. Like, she says she never seen it. And they go from holding hands after this footage is shown to Yara taking her hand back and she is crying. Jovi's eyes, when they zoomed in him, they looked a little bit red and like glossy a little bit. Um, and he just says, you know, that nothing happened, but she's crying. And he says that a private dance consists of the stripper taking her top off and grinding on him. But that's it. The producers or the executive producers really has it out for Jovi that I was convinced. I'm like, they really have it out for him because they were showing every dirty thing that this kid was doing everything. So, um, they even show when Jovi did a lie detector test and it revealed that he slept with a stripper. This crushes Yara even more because she did not know that. Now his mom, she looked completely disgusted by her son's actions. And uh, she also was very disappointed. She expresses this to the whole Sean. She says that she has plenty of talks with her son, but he does not listen to her. She feels that Jovi should have been more compassionate as Yara found out what he was actually doing during his bachelor party. She says that she can't say what she really wants to say because they are on national television. So I'm sure once it, when they went home or whatever, she probably really chewed him out. And it's good that she does hold her son, you know, accountable um, as far as letting him know that he was in the wrong and that was distasteful and that it wasn't right. Now, all Jovi can say is it was a part of his past and he gives a dry apology. Since Jovi and Yara will be on 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After, I'm really curious to see if this clown has changed and decided to step up as a father and as a husband. Yara claims that Jovi is such a great dad, but we shall see really what's going on. I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe he has, you know, a year people can make some steps to evolve and grow. So I'm going to give him that. But I don't know, just by his response to everything that was exposed, I don't really know how much growth has taken place. But again, you know, Yara came on there and dressed up. Joe, he's a great father. He's so handsome. It makes him love me. It makes me love him. She just had all these great things to say. To say. But all I know is the Jovi that I've seen this season and how he conducted himself. Now, I don't know what is the time frame from when they stopped filming to now, but I just, I want to see, I want to see it with my eyes. I would like to see. So I am very curious to know your thoughts on this first part of this tell off for 90 Day Fiance. Uh, again, this was season eight, episode 18. Comment down below, let me know your thoughts on Jovi and Yara because they really got on my nerves. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share with a friend who also loves all things 90 Day Fiance. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to hit that bell. If you haven't already, go ahead and reset your settings so that you'll receive all oops, my eye <laughs> so that you'll receive all notifications from me i don't know what's going on with youtube it sends it out for some and then for some they're saying that they aren't and i'm really i apologize for that but hopefully i'm just going to keep pushing the content out there check in with me weekly to see if there's anything new up on the channel because most likely there will be um along with this video i have other videos that are up so just check in with me, you guys. I truly appreciate all of your love and your support, your positive feedback. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate all of you. And I hope that you all are enjoying spring. It is spring now. Um, things are blossoming. Maybe you can step outside, get some fresh air. I don't know where, you know, a lot of you are at. And if there's still, you know, the pandemic, a lot of things are still closed. But I hope you all are staying safe and protecting yourself, wearing your mask. But again... I appreciate you all so much and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Peace.
Thank you.